Hello everyone, Mr. Broadbent here. I'm going to be explaining the numeracy game that you're going to be playing today called Sausages and Eggs. Uh, this is one of uh, Mr. Broadbent's favourite games. Um, it's a bit of a different variation compared to Snakes and Ladders. So instead of the ladders, we have the sausages, and instead of the snakes, we've got eggs. So a fun little game here. So I'm going to explain how to play it. Uh, and then you can get into it after that. So you can have two players. If you want to have a few more, that is fine as well. But I've got two counters here. So the first person is going to roll their dice. I've got a two. So I just move my counter going one, two, and then place it there. Then is now my partner's go. So they're going to get their dice roll. And they got a six. So they're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, it goes back to my go again. Five, so again I'm counting one, two, three, four, five. That's okay, it's the bottom of an egg, so oh, that's not a problem. So rolling again, two, one, two, and we keep moving around. If at any stage I land at a uh, bottom of a sausage, I move up to the top, and unfortunately, if I land at any of the cracked egg situations, I would end up going down, okay? So your aim is to move all the way um, to the top and get to 31st, okay? If you were the first one there, you end up being the winner and um, then you can maybe play another game. On our at-home learning calendar, we have a 30-game board, which I'm using right now, or you can be using the 50-game board if you want a bit more of a challenge. So that is how you play Sausages and Eggs. Enjoy.